everybody, this is God Sad for the Sad Truth. Notwithstanding the fact that I have weighed in on this particular manifestation of ostrich parasitic syndrome, I decided to cover it yet again as a sad truth clip because earlier today I received some comments from an individual who was upset uh, that I would single out uh, Islam for any criticism. Uh, when you know all religions need to be equally criticized they they all contain bad things you know there are good people in all religions and bad people in all religions and therefore all religions should be treated no differently from one another and so what I decided to do today is to introduce a visual test a clinical test to establish a diagnosis of ostrich parasitic syndrome and a specific manifestation of OPS, namely the inability to discriminate between multiple stimuli belonging to the same supra category. So let's see if we can uh, make this test a valuable tool in identifying the endless suicidal stupidity that has infected our world. Here we go. So here we've got two cats. It is impossible to identify or to discriminate between these two, these two cats. On the left, you have a domestic cat that maybe weighs 10 pounds and that at best can cause you an allergy if you're asthmatic. And on the right, you also have a cat that has canine teeth, teeth that are bigger than your head that can snap your neck in one quick bite a tiger, but of course we can't tell the difference if we are afflicted with OPS because both of these animals are cats. A cat is a cat and hence we can't differentiate between these two. A second way to identify if you suffer from this form of OPS is if I show you two birds. On the left you have an ostrich that is very very tall. It's a flightless bird taller than most people. On the right, you have a very, very tiny hummingbird that could fit probably within the palm of your hand. Both are birds, and therefore, if you suffer from this form of OPS, th these two are indistinguishable. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the ostrich on the left or the hummingbird on the right, since they are both birds. Let's keep going. Here again, we have two absolutely indistinguishable dogs. You have a Tibetan Mastiff on the left, and uh, I'm not exactly sure, maybe it's a Mexican Hairless on the right. Since both are dogs, since they both belong to the supra category dog, uh, it is impossible if you have been parasitized by OPS to be able to tell the difference between these two dogs. Let's go on to another example. On the left hand side we have a sport, MMA. Watch how these two athletes are pummeling one another into oblivion. Blood is pouring out of each of their orifices and on the right you have another sport with a beautifully dressed young man engaging in a sport that is indistinguishable from the MMA pummeling since both of these are called sports. Hence to seek to differentiate them when they're both called sports would simply be bigoted and racist. Here we have an example of two people who are overweight. The person on the left is overweight by maybe a hundred or two hundred pounds the person on the right has some love handles hence technically they are both not at the right uh, correct actuarially mandated table for their uh, you know height and so on so since they are both technically overweight we cannot discriminate or differentiate between one who is 200 pounds overweight and one who is two pounds overweight. They are both equally overweight. They belong to the category 
of being overweight. Here we have two cars. They both have four wheels. They both have uh, head, uh, headlights. They both have a steering wheel. The car on the left has is a Ferrari, a very expensive Ferrari. The car on the right is a Russian Lada that's worth less than your Nike shoes. But remember, both are cars. They both have four wheels. They both have a steering wheel. And hence, they are absolutely indistinguishable. To try to differentiate between these two would be a form of carophobia. And then finally, here are a bunch of religions. All of these religions are the same because they fall under the same category of being a religion. So because they belong to the same supra category, the contents of the religion, the history of each religion, the consequences of the religion, the canonical texts of the religion, whether the religion uh, kills people or not, whether it is a pacifist religion or not, whether it loves Jews or not, whether it uh, allows for the eating of uh, beef or not. All of these things, that the specifics of the religion don't matter, they're magically erased when you suffer from OPS because a religion is a religion is a religion. Therefore, to seek, for example, to try to argue that we should be worried about religion A more than B, well, that's just gauche. Only people who are afflicted with bigotry, racism, and hatred uh, would do such a thing. All religions should be equally criticized. So there you have it, folks. If you give this simple clinical test to someone, and if that person is unable to differentiate uh, for a given example between the sets of stimuli, then that person suffers from this instantiation of OPS. I wish you all a good weekend. I'm doing my best to eradicate all of these forms of truly suicidal cognitive delusions, biases, obfuscations, but I need your help. Share these videos, participate in the battle, uh, support my channel if you can. Wish you all a good weekend. Talk to you soon. Ciao.